You know, I still remember the first time I took you here. Yeah? Remember how you asked me out? <laughs> yeah, I guess you just won't let that one go. Oh, Chloe, your phone must be broken because my number isn't okay. in it. <laughs> I can't get it. I can't get it. <laughs> hey, get your own. Mmm. Chocolate cake. It's sweet, but it isn't as sweet as you. Oh, you lost. What? You lost. No. You lost. Oh, I can't believe you thought that was the cheesiest line of the night. No, Todd, that was super cheesy. <laughs> you haven't said something like that since we started dating about what, four years ago? Wow, four years? Yeah, we were dating that long. Wow. Huh. You know, I can't believe you went out with me back then. Well, besides your cheesy lines, you are smart. You make me feel special, and you make me laugh. Well, and I'm good looking, right? <laughs> okay. Maybe 15 pounds ago, sorry. <laughs> but I still love you. I love you too. Hey, Chloe, um, I know we joke around about marriage and all like that, but I think. You better get that. Okay. Hello? Hey. Um, can you hold for a second? This will only take a minute. I'm sorry. Next time I'll turn off the phone. Don't go anywhere, okay? Hey, so. I know what you're gonna say. You guys are perfect. You two are so meant to be together. And you're right, we are. We both have so much fun together. We both have great jobs. My family just adores Todd, and his family's great. His mom pr practically treats me like a daughter. Even all my friends like him. One of them even admitted to me that she was jealous that I found someone like him. But she doesn't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, Todd is wonderful. He would do anything for me. Sure, he has issues, but who doesn't? I'm not perfect. There's just, there's just something wrong. And it's not that we're not good for each other, it's just I don't have a piece about it, about us. I know I sound silly, but it's not like this feeling just showed up. It was always there about Maybe about a year ago, we took a break, just to clear our heads about the relationship. And no talking, no contact for one month. It broke his heart, but he agreed. And during that time, I, I went back to church again. And I started, I started praying and searching, but still, still no peace. And I should have ended it then. I should have ended it, but maybe, maybe it was just me, or maybe I was just scared. Scared of what, though? Breaking his heart? Or was I just scared of the unknown? About maybe a month ago, we were talking about our future and about our dreams and our goals and where we're going to send our kids to school. And it wasn't even a big deal, but we started fighting over stuff like, why do I go to church, or, or when, when, if I should move in, or if I should go to premarital counseling? I'm not getting any younger. My little sister, she's married with two kids. I'm the oldest. I was supposed to be first. Life with Todd would be perfect. It's just. I don't feel right about it, yet I can't let him go. Something always brings me back to you.
holy without touch keep me without chains and never wanted anything so much but to drown in your love and not feel your rain send me free Thank you. 